Stanford University. It is a mix of biology, mechanics, and motion. At Stanford University, mechanical engineers have come up with a work in progress called the Sticky Bot. The biodynamics program had a climbing robots. We wanted to send robots anywhere uh, into any environment. Climbing robots was really a new challenge. And so uh, we wanted to climb different surfaces, hard, tree, um, outside buildings, glass, whatever we wanted. There are two things that allow the sticky bot to climb vertical surfaces. One, it's unusual mechanical agility. We work in a lab that's basically focused on bio-inspiration. So we saw real climbing animals like geckos. Geckos do something else special. They have sticky feet, adhesive pads, unlike any other animal, which the engineers have recreated. We are focusing on just making the adhesives on a robot because it is very difficult to fabricate a large, a large amount of adhesive. Like the gecko, the sticky bot has to have a tail, loading the weight, making the adhesive pads stick to the surface. Then when we put the tail on, what that does is it decreases the load that the feet have to bear. And now sticky bot can climb. And making it move all in the right direction, all those little blinking lights. Each one represents a small, separate motor. There are 19 of them to move the sticky bot. We can have robots climb for uh, inspection or for surveillance. Also, since they work in a vacuum, we can use them out in space. So we can have robots that um, do space exploration or even cling to the side of the space shuttle. Sometimes, science is just a matter of making something stick. For the Stanford News Service, I'm Jack Hubbard. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.